what is going on everybody it's me you're here and today this is another quick update of the recently purchased w203 c240 that i got so there's a few things i did with this car number one was definitely cleaning it up however you do see a lot of micro scratches here and there like this one right here and especially on the hood as you can see it definitely hasn't really it's in fair condition i'd say i also cleaned the interior it is a beige interior so it's really not the best idea to just try to clean these up because these are really gonna grind your gears especially if you have ocd like me it did clean up pretty well it's a lot brighter than before especially the steering wheel the cup holder is also a lot cleaner that's how you can tell when someone is taking care of their vehicle so right now it has about 146,827 miles. That's really not that bad when it comes to this car and how old it is. A lot of these cars you see have over 200,000 miles by now and this one is relatively low mileage for what it is. I mean, <laughs> you know, obviously it really depends on the previous owner and how well they took care of it as you can see, but everything pretty much works on this car. You know, I mean, there's really nothing I can complain about aside from a few things here and there that I had to fix or get a replacement. So one of those replacements I got is the hood emblem. So this is a whole entire new emblem assembly. I got it for like 20 bucks. So this isn't really the real deal like on most Mercedes you'd find on the road. However, I got this on Amazon and honestly, it really does the job. If you look closely, it is a little bit of fake, like the font and whatnot, but I mean, Hey, for what it is, I'm pretty happy with it. Especially if you look far away, you can't even tell that it's a fake one. Now, popping the hood, as you can see, I definitely, definitely made sure that I replaced the hood struts. Uh, these were completely shot when I first got the car, and I got two of them for like 20 bucks. I definitely made sure I did oil change, filter change, and whatnot. And as you can see, I also made sure that the engine bay is a lot cleaner than what it was before. You can see a little bit of rust spots here and there, but I mean for, you know, considering how old this car is, I'm not really even going to complain about it. Overall, this engine is a very smooth engine, although I did notice before and after I did the old change that it was rattling a little bit on the cold startups. I definitely made sure to get a liquid molly additive to, you know, get rid of that. Opening this, as you can see, it is actually quite dry. It definitely is a lot drier than I thought it, this car would be. Um, there's really is no oil leaks or anything that's you know to be concerned of we got a whole new alternator from the previous owner I think the only sketchy thing about this car is this part right here it is held by zip ties and that is definitely concerning because it is pretty close to the serpentine belt which we do not want to interfere because that's gonna be a whole new problem I've driven about 500 miles so far and it really has no problems just getting through the day as long as I don't redline it or whatnot this engine this power plant is very smooth really have no issues so far i think the only upcoming issue i will definitely see and quite noticeably a little bit is the fact that the spark plugs are definitely going out the problem with this vehicle is that it's two spark plugs for cylinders so if you look closely some there's a spark plug over here and there's another spark plug over here which doesn't make any sense but i guess it does the job back in the day but it's a poor design by mercedes I mean, this was Chrysler after all, as you can see. Uh, another poor decision by Mercedes is the fact that they did not include any dipstick or whatsoever. I'm not sure why, but I'm glad they added it back to the W204. They definitely listen to their customers because this is an absolute pain in the ass just going to the computer and making sure the oil levels are perfect. The power steering fluid was quite low and it was whining, but after I did that, I took care of that. Everything is pretty much smooth sailing. Hood struts are still surprisingly working in the back. I'm pretty sure these are replacements at some point. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure. This is the part where this is really an absolute badass. You just flip all the seats down and you can put all the stuff in the world. I think the only big issue I have right now is definitely the brake pads and the rotors. As you can see, they are pretty much grooved in. And I think that's, that's a non-existent brake pad. <laughs> if you look closer to the front you can definitely see that this is totally fine let me see as you can see it's totally fine however looking at the back that's definitely a concern this handbrake does not work so let me get this straight every time you pull this this will release back up 
to make sure that it releases the handbrake. The problem with this is I believe some kind of cable or something just broke down or got worn out over the years. Whenever you pull this on this car, this pedal doesn't go up like it's supposed to and it stays there unless you, you know, do it by force and when you let go of this it will just come back to where it was which is very concerning so at the meantime I got a, a zip tie so I got a zip tie just to hold it in place so it doesn't engage the the handbrakes those are definitely one of the more crucial things about this car new rotors and pads will be definitely a must for this I also did new windshield wipers uh, pretty much all the necessary things that you could think of looking at the back as you can see it is pretty much clean not too much sagging yet on the headline you could definitely see a little bit over there but you know this car is actually in decent shape if I really cleaned it up I think it would definitely give me some money back although I am on an upside at the moment with all the you know things I've spent on it so far but hey you know it is a daily for the winter I made sure everything is all set for this car and personally I'm really starting to like it Although it's not the best looking car in the world and definitely is not the a good looking one. That all wheel drive, that formatic is one of the reasons why I got this car. Other than that, yeah, that's pretty much it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick update. I'll see you guys later.